When a newly licensed teen driver hits the road, they're entering an exciting, complicated environment. And staying focused is the key to safe driving. Even a small distraction can have a big impact on your teen's focus. So what's happening here and how can we prevent it? Hi, I'm Ben Bolin from How Stuff Works, and together with Liberty Mutual Insurance, I'm here to take you inside the brain of a distracted teen driver. First things first, there are three types of driving distractions, visual, manual and cognitive, or auditory. Talking on the phone of cognitive auditory diversion is the most common distraction a teen driver will face. 90% of teens admit to talking on the phone while driving. Texting, a manual distraction, comes in second place at 78% and 55% text their parents while driving. The problem all comes down to multitasking. While teen drivers may feel like they're good at multitasking, their brains are actually experiencing a phenomenon called attention switching. Each time they're driving and doing something else, their brain reduces activity in one region to provide more focus in another. This is surprisingly dangerous. After all, distraction-free driving is already complicated enough. Even simple maneuvers like turning or reversing involve multiple brain regions, including the motor, parietal, occipital, and cerebellar cortices. You probably know this from personal experience, like when you're parallel parking and ask your passengers to quiet down so you can concentrate. It's tough to do two things at once when you're behind the wheel. So what happens when we add a distraction, like a phone call? Let's take a closer look. The parietal lobe plays a crucial role in driving. This region handles attention switching and integrating sensory information. Studies indicate that listening to sentences on cell phones decreases activity in this region by a third. Activity in the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and multitasking, increases as drivers perform additional tasks while behind the wheel. This switch in brain activity increases inattentional blindness, meaning that a distracted driver may look at something without really seeing it. A red light, a stop sign, an oncoming driver, these can all escape notice and lead to accidents. Attention switching happens to everyone, but it poses a heightened danger for newly licensed teens. Teens start driving at the age of 15 or 16, but the prefrontal cortex doesn't fully mature until they're in their mid-20s. So not only are they multitasking more than they're used to, but they're also not as well equipped to divide their attention. And teen drivers are multitasking a lot. One in three teens take their eyes off the road when app notifications come in. And more than two out of three teens also use apps while driving. So where are they learning these behaviors? Unfortunately, teens overwhelmingly pick up bad driving habits from their parents. Remember when we said 90% of teens talk on the phone while driving? Well, 91% of parents do the same thing. So how do we get teens to drive in a safer manner? Well, while the neuroscience might seem complex, the solutions are simple. Model good behavior for your teens to imitate. Put down your own device. Consider signing a parent-teen driving contract with customized family driving rules that apply to both you and your teen with penalties for breaking those rules. Try focus exercises like meditation. These exercises may also increase mindfulness behind the wheel. And most importantly, encourage your teen to have open conversations with you about their driving experience so you can coach them to have better driving habits. With honest communication, leading by example, and using well-established rules, you can keep your teen focused and safe on the road. So, on behalf of Liberty Mutual Insurance, this is Ben Bolin from House of Works thanking you for your undivided, undistracted attention.